Nancy, thank you so much for joining us. I know this is a really important topic for many families as we're all really trying to watch our bottom line. You know, our budgets are being stretched now with rising gas prices and delivery prices. So give us, uh, you know, give us an understanding of how this has actually impacted how we plan our meals. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, those of you who've gone to grocery stores or just eaten out lately, you probably noticed the prices are just creeping up. And you're absolutely right about that. Because according to the Consumer Price Index, food prices have increased almost 8% versus last year. And that's a lot. So as a mom, I think more than ever about how I can meal prep for my family on a budget. And I think it just involves shopping really smart, shopping at the right places, and then just thinking about food slightly differently. Okay, well then give us your tips from mom to mom. There's a lot of moms watching right now. So where do we begin? Yeah. Absolutely. So the first tip I have is to hit up your local farmer's market. So this is something I do religiously every Sunday because I can get the freshest produce. I'm supporting the local farmers and I'm also reducing my carbon footprint. So organic produce is often cheaper at a farmer's market than a conventional grocery store. And especially when the farmers have a bumper crop, they offer really great volume discounts. Like you can get a flat of strawberries for 10 or $12 and that's just such a great value. I love that. I love the farmer's market idea in Angle. Um, also too, I think it's great when you can take your family with you and the little ones can see where the food comes from, right? It's a whole farm to fork process. There's an appreciation. And when they get to see it and touch it and you let them pick it out, sometimes I find yeah. as a mom that they're more likely to eat it, right? You're absolutely right. And in fact, my two kids go with me every Sunday to the farmer's market. They don't always love going, but they <laughs> know all the vegetables by heart. Yes, and when you can sample too before you buy, that's always a fun part as well. Oh, so, no. Yeah, you can discover some really interesting things. Um, yeah. what, what's another tip you have for us? So the second tip I have is to lean into veggies. So in my family, we've started going vegetarian two or three days a week, and it's just a really healthy way to eat, and we love it. So. I'm using my favorite container. This is called the Omigo, and I love it because it's made out of plant-based plastic. It holds about three and a half cups of food, which is enough for everyone in my family. So here I've packed a lentil salad. I put a little kale, some cranberries in it. And guys, lentils are so cheap. You can get a whole bag of lentils for $2, and that's enough to feed a family of four, plus some leftovers for the next day. So I also did just like a roasted like root vegetable salad. So this is just um, potatoes and carrots, parsnips, it's super easy to do. And then I also did some grapes as well for the afternoon munchies. So this whole meal costs less than $5. It's wow. healthy and nutritious and it's just, it's so easy to do. I love that. And I love too that there's a lot of simplicity too in what you're making, right? So not only are the vegetables that you're buying affordable, but the ingredients that you're incorporating as well uh, is well within the budget. And exactly. it's healthy, which is, it can be expensive to eat healthy. Let's face it, it can, but this is a very affordable approach. I love it. It is, yeah. And then my last tip is for meat lovers, because I know some people just love their meat, but my tip is to try different cuts of meat. So chicken breasts, steaks, they just tend to cost a lot more, but chicken thighs, drumsticks, ground turkey thighs, like those tend to be just as delicious, but half to a third of the price. So I packed another lunch here. This is something I would do for my husband. He's a bigger eater. So I did some teriyaki chicken thighs, mm. zucchini, and then some um, a chickpea salad. And again, like chicken thighs are probably five or six dollars a pound versus 12 for a chicken breast. So it's just another great way to save. And by packing lunch, we're saving so much because eating out could set you back as much as 15 or $20 a person. Oh, so wow. I love these containers because they all stack together. So you just slide them on top and they don't come apart. Oh. So it's really easy to just throw it in your backpack, in your work bag. You don't have to worry about any leaking. It's dishwasher safe. It's 100% leak proof. And what I do is on Sunday, I spend a few hours, you know, I go to the farmer's market, I come home, I prep the produce, and I do a few hours of batch prep. So I just have lots of lunches and these things. <laughs> I have it in my fridge, like lined up rows of them. I put a post-it pad on it to say what it is, teriyaki chicken, chickpea salad, whatever. And then that way, whoever needs a meal that day just goes to the fridge and grabs a lunch of their choice and I don't have to do much cooking during the week for my kids' meals. So I have two kids and a husband, and everybody brings lunch, so that's just a lot of prep to do, yes. so I just get it on Sundays. Yes, it is. You just checked so many boxes for all the busy moms right now, so affordability, eating healthy, 
meal prep in advance for all those busy week schedules. You know, after school there's dance, there's swim team, there's theater. I mean, there's just all these things happening when you can pre-prep and you have portion control as well and the containers, I'm loving it. Where do we go to learn more? So come to my website, it's www.omilife.com and Omi is spelled O-M-I-E. Wonderful, Nancy, so many pieces of great advice. Thank you so much.